Right, welcome back guys. So this afternoon we've had a call out regarding some lights that are tripping in a kitchen in a property that we've recently done some work at. Now, the customer isn't saying that it is us, but she would like us to come around and have a look just to make sure that there's nothing that we've done that's causing it to trip. And obviously if we can find the problem to put it straight. Um, by the sounds of it, it's something to do with the spotlights in the kitchen and the dimmer switch, which is something we've done nothing with. We've not even attempted to modify any lighted circuits in any way. But we will obviously look at it. We have put a new light up in the bathroom. Um, doesn't sound anything like that because I'm pretty sure that the bathroom light is on the upstairs lighting circuit and the lights that are tripping are on the downstairs lighting circuit. But we're gonna look at it regardless and we're gonna obviously try and sort it out for the customer so she's got some lights when she gets back later. I'll take you inside now and we'll go and have a look. Right, so we're inside. Um, as you can see, we've got these silver bezel spotlights. Um, we've got four above me here, which are on a dimmer six above the kitchen area which are also on a dimmer we've got two pendants linked together which are on a dimmer and then we've got the under unit lights which are also on a dimmer but it's a dummy dimmer so they don't actually dim basically what the customers told me they're not here at the moment but what they've told me is when the dimmer is getting turned up on one of the circuits or one of the sub circuits from the four grid light switch um it's causing the rcba to trip now, obviously it could be many things. Could be a faulty dimmer switch, so we will look into that. Um, could be a bit of an overload on a fault on a light. Um, could be a burnt out neutral on the light. Could be all sorts of things. Could be something as simple as the wiring's not um, adequate. Could be anything, so many different things. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the light switch on, I'm gonna have a look behind. Um, after I found which circuit it is, make sure none of the cables are crushed in the back box or anything like that, anything silly. Um, and then we'll go from there. And then um, we'll basically just do common denominator one thing at a time. So we'll start with the dimmer. We'll start with the neutrals in the back of the box and believe it's mains at the switch here. Then we'll start with one light at a time, just checking the connections, making sure everything's connected correctly. We'll do that in process of elimination as well. So I'll take you through as I do it, so you can see the steps to try and find this fault that's causing the lighting circuit to trip. Right, so I've just taken the uh, screws out. This is the uh, four gang dimmer switch. Now, it's a British general one, one that I have installed before. I've never really had any issues with these. To look at first thing, everything seems to be wired as expected. So we've got common and switch wires linked out as they should be. Um, nothing visually on the neutrals in here. A um, little bit of press on these cables, but I don't think it's damaged them or anything like that. It's obviously gonna be a quite a tight squeeze in that box. Now, let's try the lights. So it's not those, because that's maximum for those. Um, that's the under cabinet lights. And we've got nothing there. Oh, that's the pendants. They're maxed out as well. So it must be those there. And there we go, that's tripped. So that is the one there, it's that circuit. Let's link out the common and the L1 just to see if the dimmer is causing us the fault. But for it not to trip straight away, it's quite unlikely, um, but we'll do that anyway. So I've just linked out the L1 and the common and it's not that. So that is good news to an extent that it's not the dimmer module, which just means we won't have to replace that. Obviously it means that the fault is somewhere else. So I'm gonna start pulling these spotlights down one at a time um, and just find out which one it is by effectively taking one at a time, checking the wiring on them, making sure that the lights also aren't overheating or something silly like that. So I'm gonna do that now, just make sure that it's not the fittings themselves. So very straightforward, um, checking the 
wiring in this one. This one seems to be okay. Again, this one is also right. Um, I've disconnected that light and that light, turned the power back on, it still trips. Done the same with that one, done the same with that one, done the same with that one. When I just connected this light, it didn't trip. And can anyone see that in there? Someone has wired the neutral and the earth the wrong way around. So when I disconnect that light, pop it down there, come back over here. Oh, turn them back on, bear with me. There he is over there. Turn them back on, full dim, maxed out, they stay on. So there's our problem. Something as simple as that um, was causing the lights to trip out. Now, why that they're why they're not tripping initially and they're only tripping on full load? This is a TNCS here, so a PME setup, so it is a combined neutral and earth. So that would be one of the reasons why it wouldn't pick up sometimes from the low dim. But as soon as you put full load onto them, obviously they're going to trip out like anything would. So that is our problem solved. So let's get these spotlights put back up, get the wiring changed on that one, and then job is done. And there we go, wired up as it should be. So let's get these back up. It's quite difficult doing this one-handed, so I'm not gonna. Maxed out, there we go. Dimmed and full. No need to get the tester out today because the fault was a visual one. See you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. So today's job was quite a nice one. Obviously, fault finding can sometimes be tricky. Today, it seemed to be quite an easy one, really. So it was a visual find, something that you don't always get. Sometimes it's quite tricky, but today we've managed to find it quite easily. Gone in, faulty wiring, in regard to the way it was wired originally, so the live, it's in the right place with the neutral and the earth were reversed, causing the lights to trip out when they were full load on the dimmer. So great find, in and out today, job done. Thanks for watching, hit that like button and also subscribe if you can. See you on the next one.